Recognize the gentleman from California for five minutes. Uh, thank you, uh, Madam Chair. Uh, thank you for your testimony today, and thank you for the refreshing and aggressive uh, approach you're taking to ensure uh, competition. Uh, in my view, we have reached a dangerous point in this country where there has been a tremendous concentration of corporate power uh, at the expense of, of working families. Uh, the challenge we face today is not that people aren't working. People are working. Uh, the problem is they're not making enough to get by. Uh, and part of that is the result of this concentration of power in corporate hands, uh, the likes of which I don't think we have seen in our history. So I appreciate the work that you're doing. Um, I, I want to uh, ask you in particular about an issue I've written to you about uh, that concerns me, and that is consolidation uh, among the large grocery stores, the large grocery chains. Um, this has the potential of not only having an adverse impact on price, but also having adverse impact in the form of job losses, in the form of creation of food deserts impacting communities. Uh, and uh, I would, if you're able to share your thoughts in terms of that particular merger, great. If you're not, uh, I would ask uh, more generally uh, what you're looking at in terms of impacts uh, and also vis-a-vis -vis the narrowness of the, uh, the, the doctrine that focuses only on consumer prices. Um, would that prevent you from looking at other criteria such as the impact on communities and the impact on workers? So we seek to take a 360 view to make sure we're fully understanding how a particular merger may be lessening competition in ways that are harming uh, consumers, but that may be high, hurting suppliers. In the context of grocery mergers, we really are, take care to make sure we're looking at all sides. Um, as you noted, there is a pending investigation that um, Kroger Albertsons have disclosed. The FTC is looking at their proposal. Um, I think you're absolutely right, though we've seen the consolidation in the grocery sector can have devastating effects for communities uh, contributing to food deserts. One practice that is also on our radar is the way in which grocery chains can be using what are known as restrictive covenants to try to lock out competition geographically, uh, which may also be contributing to these food deserts. So we're looking at that closely, and we want to make sure that we're enforcing the antitrust laws in ways that are serving all communities. Well, I appreciate that. I have grave concerns about the Kroger-Albertsons merger uh, and the impact on the communities that I represent and many others throughout California and the country uh, in terms of impact on workers, on prices, uh, and on communities. Um, let me just uh, turn to the issue um, that the chairman was just raising with you. Uh, you didn't get much of a chance to elaborate on the privacy and security problems at Twitter. Uh, and how they could impact the privacy of millions and millions of Americans. Um, I'd like to give you that opportunity because I'm uh, both concerned with the enormous proliferation of hate speech on Twitter, uh, the firing of many of the um, uh, individuals charged with security at Twitter, uh, and what impact that has on the rise of hate, but also on the uh, decrease in uh, security and privacy of people's data at Twitter. So again, we're squarely focused on the privacy and security implications of any decisions that may be made. Um, as I noted, Twitter's history with the FTC goes back over a decade where serious security and privacy lapses led to personal information being compromised. As you noted, Twitter today also has access to deeply personal sensitive information. Uh, in 2022, we entered into a revised consent order because we found that Twitter unfortunately had been in violation of the prior consent order. Whenever we have repeat offenders at the agency, we're always thinking very hard about what we can be doing to prevent repeat violations. Uh, our revised order has even tighter privacy and security provisions. Uh, it was voted out unanimously at the commission, uh, and we'll continue to make sure that our orders are being followed and that companies are protecting people's privacy and security. Well, I appreciate that, and, and I'd also like to ask unanimous consent to enter in the record a couple articles, uh, one from uh, Gizmodo, Elon Musk, king of censorship, 10 times the free speech abolitionist silenced Twitter users, uh, and also an article um, from the rest of the world, Twitter's complying with more government demands under Elon Musk, uh, which includes Twitter's self-reported data shows that under Musk, 
companies complied with hundreds more government orders for censorship or surveillance, especially in countries such as Turkey uh, and India. I request consent to enter the record. Uh, thank you, Chairman. I yield back. Gentleman yields back. The gentleman from uh, Colorado is recognized. I thank the chairman, uh, Chair Khan. Thank you for.